Manufacturers today have to develop products differently than they have in the past. Products are much more complex. They're systems of systems. Design teams need to take a systems level approach to product development, collaborate early and often, and create a digital thread for traceability across the enterprise. A natural place to start is using PLM to connect disciplines and share data across the enterprise. The foundation of systems design is the V model, but it's not just for systems engineers anymore. Here are five key areas where an open PLM platform can power your V model. The first place is the top left of the V model, requirements. We see companies struggle because they can't get requirements right. They sit in systems that other disciplines can't get to, which is particularly problematic when performing verification and validation. If you can't match requirements to the final design, you can't effectively test. Make sure product requirements are made available in your PLM platform from the start. Next, the system's architecture needs to be your anchor for all design work. There are two ways a PLM platform can enable your systems engineering framework to be your communications hub. First, you can integrate model-based systems engineering, or MBSE, and PLM so that systems architects are able to share part analysis from MBSE tools. Second, you can create a systems engineering framework to give teams a common systems engineering context. Both approaches also provide traceability and configuration control in downstream design. As individual disciplines move into detailed design at the bottom of the V model, it's critical that they collaborate and share the same data. Software and services, including over-the-air and cloud-based updates, are adding complexity to product design. Here's where your PLM system needs to be the data backbone, connecting the right information to the right person at the right time. But it needs to be a platform in order to effectively manage engineering change and variance across disciplines and systems. Legacy architectures and spreadsheets can't do that. In the middle of the V model, simulation is becoming increasingly important for advanced product design to reduce costs of prototyping, testing, and maintenance. To unlock the value of simulation, you need to connect it with mainstream design. An open approach to simulation process and data management, or SPDM, running on a PLM platform is the way to do it. Simulation analysts need real-time configuration and version data to do their job. And mainstream disciplines need traceability of the simulation data to validate designs. Moving up the right side of the V model, at systems testing, teams need to be sure they are testing the correct version or variant and effectively managing that test data. That means you've got to have the right product version, variant, and bomb at your fingertips. Your PLM platform is that single source of product information. It's even more critical at acceptance testing, particularly for verification and validation. Companies wrestle with connecting test bench data back to requirements, factoring configuration changes and variants. This level of traceability can only be accomplished with a platform, and given the criticality for compliance and regulation, manufacturers need to get it right. Looking a bit further out, we see the V model extending into manufacturing and service for process planning and maintenance and repair activities. Companies are also talking about how to create a digital thread that extends into the field, and you need to enable full traceability across the V model to get there. So that's a brief walkthrough of the V model and how an open PLM platform can power those processes. To learn more about developing smart, connected products using the ARIS PLM platform, visit aris.com slash capabilities slash systems engineering.